Today, MTD CNC have travelled to Bristol to Broadway Engineering, and I'm with Roy. Roy, now I'm in the turning cell here. Why have Broadway Engineering um, invested so heavily in the Nakamura tombs? We wanted to really get the best of what we can. Um, they're a very good premium brand of machine. Now, what kind of work do you do on them? We do very high spec, really, uh, aerospace work. Um, dealing with some very hard and high quality materials, things like Inconol, uh, Super Duplex, things like that. So we need a good quality of bus machine to be able to handle that. And how does, how does the machine handle this type of material? It's really good, obviously. The, the rigidity within the machines is the uh, best they come, really. Um, they, they are really high quality. They have spindle speeds. And there's a lot of torque behind them. Um, and yeah, the, the dealing with some good quality inserts and um, yeah, to get the mesh out the machines and get the efficiencies as high as we can. And I, I, I know that you're looking to run uh, unmanned running, how, how is this coming along? We are exploring the options now, we've got to obviously get the, the efficiency as good as we can to get the product as good um, and be competitive within the marketplace and give our customers the best possible service um, with delivery times and um, obviously quality to come with that. I see that you, you've got milling features on some of these complex components. Now, how does the driven tooling on the Nakamura's hold up, you know, with the hard materials? Very well. Um, the machines are very good quality. We've come in from an um, older style two-axis lathe. Uh, now, to give our customers the best possible delivery times, quality of product, we're now doing it all in one operation within the machine themselves. So we, uh, we can do milling on the machines with the Y-axis and obviously a sub-spindle, so we can com do one hit um, components. So we only minimize the, um, the time that anyone has to actually handle the components themselves. Now, getting the process absolutely perfectly right, you know, it comes down to repeatability, I would imagine. You know, how, how are you finding this over a long period of time, the longevity of the, and the repeatability over a sustained period of time? We are exploring, obviously we want to try and explore lights out running um, going forward like that, so this is uh, something we are exploring. Um, we have to deal with tooling manufacturers as well because tooling is key, as well as the machine, the rigidity, the um, just the accuracy within the machine. Uh, we can do sister tooling and things like that, so we are exploring that capability to put, drive forward. And what is the next step then, uh, Roy? It is going to do the, um, the lights out running. We, um, we need to explore that option to stay competitive within this industry. Uh, these machines are the key for that, really. Um, we need a good quality machine to be able to drive forward and be. And are you going to invest in more? And what is the, the, the support being like from ETG? Uh, very good. Um, we are going to try and invest further. Um, this is the drive going forward. We need to keep going with this and driving forward with new technology.